Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray that you're all doing well this morning. Oh, happy Monday. It's the uh, first Monday of my, uh, well, they call it winter break because at the school district, you don't want to say Christmas. You'll offend somebody. Anyway, it's Christmas break. Oh. All right, well, this morning, we're going to start off in Psalm 125, and then we're going to pick it up in 1 Kings. Haven't been there in a little bit, and then we're going to Ephesians. So, let's get started. Psalm 125, and as always, may God bless the reading of his word. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people, from this time forth and forevermore. For the scepter of wickedness shall not rest on the land allotted to the righteous, lest the righteous stretch out their hand to do wrong. Do good, O Lord, to those who are good, and to those who are upright in their hearts. But those who turn aside to their crooked ways, the Lord will lead away with evil doers. Peace be upon Israel. All right, my voice is a little scratchy this morning, so I'm afraid I'm trying to get over a cold. And yeah, you know, one of those things. All right, First Kings chapter eighteen, verses one through eighteen. This is where Elijah confronts Ahab. <clears throat> After many days, the word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year, saying, "Go." Show yourself to Ahab, and I will send rain upon the earth. So Elijah went to show himself to Ahab. Now the famine was severe in Samaria, and Ahab called Obadiah, who was over the household. Now Obadiah feared the Lord greatly, and when Jezebel cut off the prophets of the Lord, Obadiah took a hundred prophets and hid them by fifties in a cave and fed them with bread and water. And Ahab said to Obadiah, Go through the land to all the springs of water and to all the valleys. Perhaps we may find grass and save the horses and mules alive and not lose some of the animals. So they divided the land between them to pass through it. Ahab went in one direction by himself and Obadiah went in another direction by himself. And as Obadiah was on the way, behold, Elijah met him. And Obadiah recognized him and fell on his face and said, Is it you, my lord Elijah? And he answered him, It is I. Go, tell your lord. Behold, Elijah is here. And he said, How have I sinned that you would give your servant into the hand of Ahab to kill me? As the Lord your God lives, there is no nation or kingdom where my lord has not sent to seek you. And when they would say, He is not here, he would take an oath on the kingdom or nation that they had not found you. And now you say, Go tell your Lord, Behold, Elijah is here. And as soon as I have gone from you, the Spirit of the Lord will carry you, uh, and I know not where. And so, when I come to tell Ahab, and he cannot find you, he will kill me, although I, your servant, have feared the Lord from my youth. Has it not been told, my Lord, what I, what I did when Jezebel killed the prophets of the Lord? How I hid a hundred men of the Lord, of the Lord's prophets by fifties in a cave, and fed them with bread and water. And now you say, Go tell your Lord, Behold, Elijah is here, and he will kill me. And Elijah said, As the Lord of hosts lives, be, before whom I stand, I will surely show myself to him today. So Obadiah went to meet Ahab, and told him, And Ahab went to meet Elijah. <clears throat> when Ahab saw Elijah, Ahab said to him, Is it you, you troubler of Israel? And he answered, I have not troubled Israel, but you have, and your father's house, because you have abandoned the commandments of the Lord, and followed the Baals. Mm. Interesting. Uh, 
Oh, that Hub City blend is good. All right. <clears throat> Let's see if my voice can hold up for the rest of this. Uh, Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 17. And this is concerning the whole armor of God. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able, may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand firm. Stand, therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and as shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all flaming darts of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. And this is the word of the Lord this morning. All right, we'll go to the Pray Now app and I'll read the prayer of the day. Let us pray. Merciful and everlasting God, you did not spare your Son, but delivered him up for us all to bear our sins on the cross. Grant that our hearts may be so fixed with steadfast faith in him that we fear not the power of sin, death, and the devil. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And amen. I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. Um, yeah, that's it. So with that, be safe, be happy, and be blessed. We'll see you tomorrow morning on Coffee and the Word. God bless.